Good morning, folks. Yes, it takes this long for the experts to release the global climate report for the previous month, so let's look at March. Find a tremendous mix of warm and cold extremes. Missing from this part is the 35-year Great Lakes ice record we broke this year. Europe, most of Russia, and a good bit of Asia experience temperatures well above normal. Same can be said for parts of Australia, but the bigger story in those regions is drought, megastorms, and high Antarctic surface ice. We saw a nice mix of above and below average rainfall, and when we use the same map to overlay March temperatures, you see we were all over the place. Year to date, January through March shows a bit colder globally than just March. Not a bad moment to check the weather records. In the past 365 days, the cold has overtaken heat in the US, owning the daily records. If we keep it only year to date in 2014 so far, the imbalance is even greater. Looking at the monthly records as opposed to daily, over the past year and especially the past four months, the cold has dominated the heat records in the US. Only at the all-time record moments do we see heat still out in front over the last year, but already falling way behind in 2014. Let's do the same thing globally. Over the last year, heat still holds the title across the entire planet in daily records. Unless, of course, you let precipitation into the game. But when we look at just 2014 so far, the trend is revealed. Cold is king of the global daily records. As for the monthly records, much closer over the last year, but again, 2014 tips the scale towards the snow. An ongoing story. Quick check beneath our feet to see a North Pole rumble yesterday east of Greenland. Volcano alert raised in Guatemala as well as eruptions strengthen. Looking to the weather, same story as before down under with flood potential on high in the north as that system pulls in, a low just north of the coastline creating that danger today. Now keep the moisture overlay on to see how it's enhanced by the convergence line finally cresting Europe. The clouds and storms always follow those convergence lines and we're also monitoring a thunderstorm potential in the Mediterranean low. I'll keep that pressure overlay on to note a deep low over the Rocky Mountains. She's our watch today, set to head eastward throughout the next few hours, culminating in severe weather across the central states tonight. We'll also have a snowstorm in eastern Canada. Above our heads, solar wind speed is dropping and the density is variable within calm range as nice smooth sailing returns to the electron flux. We've got space weather quiet. That goes double for flaring. We appeared to have a data dropout yesterday, but during that time, sun was about as quiet as can be. The other satellites were working and absolutely nothing of note occurred. A filament release was the only real thing to note on the disk, and it will miss Earth. The lack of flaring is mostly due to a lack of sunspots. The big ones all turned away, leaving only alpha and minor beta groups on the disk. The last seven days of earthquake shows the very end of our last watch, but when I switch from largest to most recent quakes, the last three days without any elevated earthquake index, has seen no six-pointers. The last two days we've talked about that changing again as the weekend approaches back into an earthquake uptick. In addition to the geocentric conjunction of Mercury and the Sun, our next coronal hole is transequatorial and incoming. Not quite able to touch Earth with its magnetism yet, according to the National Solar Observatory, but that will certainly change today, ramping up the watch based on the coronal hole power, which is just moderate right now in green. It likely won't match the last seismic uptick without more force coming to that opening, but the three straight days of weak seismicity is poised to be over just as quickly in the coming days, if not sooner. Try to spot the heartbeat of the solar system and the spot-dependent fields and coronal densities amidst the shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.